Welcome back van fans. One of the first questions I always get when people see this van is, do you sleep in it? And is it actually comfortable? And how do you make up a bed? So I'm gonna show you guys. This is the third row, the back seat of the van here. And this is with it in its regular mode for you know, going on a trip or something. So you see it has armrest on the back here, which is pretty nice. Most vans, the third row, like in a minivan or something, they usually don't have separate fold down armrests. These Explorer vans do, which makes it just a little bit nicer when you're driving. So the first thing we have to do is to recline the third row to put it down into a flat bed. So to do that, we're gonna come around to the back here. We're gonna open this up. And we're gonna hold this button here, which will recline the bed down flat. Now this can also slide forward and rear, and you might need to adjust it a little bit depending on where those front seats are. I'm gonna slide it back just a tiny bit. it back and forward so it's right up against those seats. You also need to watch the clearance for the headrests. When those come down, you want to make sure that they're not in the way of this. When you close this door, there's, there's enough clearance for it. You just have to make sure that if this seat is all the way slid back when you go to recline it, then this headrest will rub up against there. You don't want to break this off. You can also, um, I believe these headrests also come off if you need to attach them, but not necessary. You don't need to do that. So I'm gonna take these, I'm gonna fold these flat on both sides here. You can see these seat belts are here. So these seat belts, we're gonna put these down out of the way so that we're not lying on a seat belt in the back here. Now the biggest obstacle of this bed being comfortable is this middle section here that folds down to be a center armrest when it's up in bench mode. The newer versions of this van have a much flatter uh, seat here. It's basically just like a flat, it looks basically similar to this middle section here. It's just a flat room. The downside of that is I think it's not quite as comfortable when you're driving. This seat in the back is super comfortable. It's like a big soft leather couch. And when you're going down the road, sitting in the back row, it's actually more comfortable than the captain's chairs. But when it's laid flat like this, this does leave a little bit of a hump here, which is not ideal for sleeping on it. However, I would still take that trade off because I'm gonna spend a lot more time driving down the road in this van than we're gonna spend actually sleeping in it somewhere. But just something to think about. So the first thing we need to do now that the bed is flat or the next thing I should say is I want to put something on top of here so that it will help make it a little bit more comfortable. So this is a queen size mattress topper. We've actually had this for a while. It's pretty thick, which makes it nice and comfortable. It's just like a, you know, a down comforter style topper, not a memory foam or anything. And queen is probably a little bit bigger than you need for back here. You could probably get away with a full or maybe even a double, but it actually fits pretty well. If you look at the side to side clearance, it's basically right up against the edges and then it's a little bit too long, but I prefer to have it a little bit long than have it short. It's kind of nice because it fills in the gaps along the edges and it works pretty well. So all we're gonna do is just lay this down flat on top of the couch and this is going to make it a lot more comfortable. So now I've got my sleeping bag laid out. This is an extra wide sleeping bag and I've found just from a lot of experience camping that bigger sleeping bags are just more comfortable. I like the extra space. I like being able to roll over and not get tied up tight in a mummy bag. So I got this, I found this on Amazon. 
just a nice oversized sleeping bag. Basically makes it like a queen size bed. And it makes it much easier way to sleep. And you can see it fits pretty much perfectly for the size that you have here in the back of the van. So the last thing we gonna add here is a memory foam pillow. And there you go. I'm all set to sleep. It's a pretty comfortable setup. And if you want a little extra privacy in the back here, you can put these shades up. And there you go. One of the things I'm gonna do soon with the van is I'm planning on uh, getting the rear windows tinted a little bit darker. It has just the light factory tint on them right now, which is not bad, but if you're gonna to try to be sleeping in here and even just, just driving down the road when it's a bright sunny day, it gets pretty bright. So it'd be nice to have them be a little bit darker. So that'll be something that's happening soon. But you can see it makes for a pretty decent camping setup or sleeping if you need to stop and sleep somewhere on a trip. Let me know if you have any questions.